One of Britain's biggest scandals in recent times now seems to be preparing to hit its political class as questions are now being raised over Prime Minister David Cameron's too close a relationship with Murdoch's top executives. Murdoch's public apology hardly seems to have had the desired impact with victims to the phone hacking now preparing to sue the entire empire. I just said that the founder of the company, I was appalled to find out what had happened. And, course, and, and I apologize and I have nothing for this. As belated as his apology came from media mogul Rupert Murdoch to victims of his publication's phone hacking, trouble for the 87-year-old media baron seems to have only just begun. Close on the heels of Rebecca Brooks' resignation, News International faced another casualty. Murdoch's most trusted aide, Les Hinton, top executive of Dow Jones, also forced to resign. The News Corp faces battle on three fronts. First would be News Corp versus the Parliament, where uh, Rupert Murdoch, James Murdoch and Rebecca Brooks would be answering live uh, televised questions from the MPs. The second battle that News Corp faces is with the stock markets. And of course, finally, it is the News Corp's battle with crime, with the police investigation. And that is the battle that experts feel will nail News Corp. But besides Rupert, James and Rebecca, the scandal seems to be now moving closer towards engulfing Prime Minister David Cameron. Reports now reveal that Cameron hosted several News Corp senior executives at his country home checkers in Buckinghamshire, even as police investigated allegations of telephone hacking. His close association with Murdoch now being questioned by the opposition and his ability to be impartial. Well, I think they've got to put the matter right. They've misled Parliament. They've harmed a number of victims of crime. Meanwhile, the full-page apology in the papers hardly seems to have quelled angry victims. Some of them celebrities, as they prepare to file for unspecified damages against Murdoch Empire. This is the kind of uh, apology that should have come a few weeks ago. I think it's probably only come as a result of the further extraordinary revelations that have occurred in the last few weeks. But for the Murdochs, the stakes are much higher. First, it's about whether the Murdoch name would continue to lead the biggest media empire in the world. And secondly, it's about the rising hum of questions being raised about the stranglehold the corporation seems to have over successive British Prime Ministers. With Raga Malika, Vikram Savan, Times Now.